Welcome back. The details. Egypt will host next Thursday a summit of Sudan's neighbors to discuss ways to end the ongoing conflict and its repercussions on the neighboring countries. Presidential spokesperson, Councillor Ahmed Fahmi, said on Sunday the summit aims to develop effective mechanisms with the neighboring states to settle the conflict peacefully in coordination with other regional or international efforts. The spokesman said the conference comes as part of President Sisi's efforts to seek an end to the Sudanese bloodshed, maintain the Sudanese state institutions and decrease the fallout of the crisis on neighboring countries. Also on Sunday, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi witnessed the swearing-in ceremony of new heads of leading judicial authorities. Councillor Hafiz Ahmed Abbas Muhammad was sworn in as the new head of the Administrative Prosecution Authority. Councillor Husni Hassan Abdel Latif Abu Zaid was sworn in as head of the Court of Cassation. Councillor Musad Abdel Maqsoud Bayoumi was sworn in as the head of the State Lawsuits Authority. Presidential spokesperson said President Isisi asserted the important role of the judiciary and, in particular, the Administrative Prosecution Authority and the State Lawsuits Authority in establishing justice and maintaining the rule of law. He said those authorities contribute to protecting the citizens' rights and preserving the nation's interests. The president also granted medals of honor of the first degree to the outgoing heads of the Court of Cassation, the Administrative Prosecution Authority and the State Lawsuits Authority. Parliament Speaker, Councillor uh, Dr. Hanafi Gibeli condemned the latest Israeli occupation aggression in the West Bank city of Jenin. He also warned against dangerous repercussions to the continued escalation against the Palestinians. Addressing the general session of the House of Representatives on Sunday, he said it's important to put an end to the repetitive and aggravated campaigns by the Israeli authorities in the occupied territories. Gibali also called on international community to put an end to such human rights violations. The Polish president called for unity with Ukraine during a visit ahead of a NATO 